Hello, this is Cody from GG Servers. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your modded server performance. One of the best ways to improve your Forge server performance is to install anti-lag Forge mods. A great mod to install is the AI Improvements mod, which improves AI such as mobs and animals. To install the mod, simply drag and drop the mod file to your server's mods folder. Of course, this is not the only mod you can use. There are other great mods such as Better FPS and Performant. If you need more recommendations, please check out our article link in the description below. For fabric servers, we recommend using the mod Lithium. It is an optimization mod that improves various aspects of the game, such as game physics, mob AI, block ticking, etc., without altering any of the vanilla mechanics. To install the mod, you will need to first download Lithium from modrenth.com, then simply connect to your server files using FileZilla, and drag and drop the mod file to your server's mods folder. At the time of recording this video, this mod will work for server versions up to 1.20.1, Another great mod to use is Phosphor, which will work for server versions up to 1.19.4. We also highly recommend that you pre-generate your world. If you have a Forge server version between 1.16.5 and 1.19.4, I recommend using the Forge mod Chunky. If you have a server version older than 1.16.5, I recommend using the mod Chunk pre-generator. For Fabric server versions 1.16 to 1.19, I recommend using the mod Chunky. If you have an older version of Fabric, I recommend using the mod Fabric Chunk pre-generator. If you do not know how to pre-generate your world, please check out our world pre-generation video, link in the description below. Another thing you can do is decrease your server view distance to help improve performance. To change your server view distance, simply go to your multi-craft panel, then go to files, then go to config files, and then go to server settings. Scroll down to view distance, and then you can change it there. Make sure to click save at the bottom and then restart your server after to make the changes go into effect. For those using the DIN map mod, you can also improve your server performance by changing the resolution and render type in your DIN map config. To do this, you will need to connect to your server files using FileZilla, then open up the DIN map folder. Find the file configuration.txt and right click edit. On line 16, you will find the setting def templates suffix. Change the value to v low res or low res. Now scroll down until you find the line image dash format and change the value to JPG. More information about these two settings along with other settings can be found on the DINMAPS wiki page. We also recommend running a Spark report, which allows us to directly identify the source of your lag or performance issues. To do this, we're gonna install the Spark mod. This mod works for server versions up to 1.20.1, .1, and to install the mod, you will need to connect to your server files using FileZilla, and then simply drag and drop the mod file to your server's mods folder. Once the mod is installed, go to your server console and type in the command Spark Profiler. After waiting a minimum of 30 minutes, type the command spark profiler dash dash stop into the console. Make sure that you are playing on the server in those 30 minutes to actually get a good representation of the server performance. Once the command is run, we will get a link to our spark report. And if you open up the link, we can see exactly what is causing lag on the server. On the top of the report, you can see other useful information such as TPS and memory usage. We can also use the command spark profiler dash dash only dash ticks dash over 150 in our console to help us easily identify the lag. Using the command will make the profiler only list processes that took over 150 milliseconds to execute, which will most likely be the things that are causing lag. You can click on them to open any subprocesses. This way you can find out which action, mob, or mod is responsible for the lag on your server. Now reading the report can seem like a daunting task at first because it just seems like it's a bunch of lines of text and numbers, but generally speaking all we need to look for is the red percentages, and as we open up the trees we can further investigate and identify the lag issue. If you need help reading a Spark report, feel free to send us a message on our 24-7 live chat or send us the Spark report through a ticket and we will be more than happy to help you with it. I also highly recommend you check out our article regarding Spark report to help understand how to identify lag issues as well as check out Spark's own wiki page for a more detailed guide. If everything I mentioned so far has not helped or has minimal impact, it is possible that you may simply be pushing your server's resources to its limits. If that is the case, you may simply need to upgrade your server plan. Upgrading your server to a server with more RAM or switching to the premium plan may improve your performance. This is especially true on servers that have a lot of mods or a lot of players. And that's it, so thanks for watching everybody, hopefully this helped you improve your server performance. If this video helped you out, then leave a like, if you need to see more, subscribe, and see you later!